Good morning guys, welcome back to uh, Mae Hong San up here in Northern Thailand. Today I decided to rent a motorbike, actually it's uh, more of a scooter. It's a uh, 110cc, the smallest one, smallest engine they had, uh, but it's got some power to it. It uh, really picks up fast. Anyways, uh, today let's go explore the area. I'd like to go to this Chinese village and uh, I'd like to maybe go check out the Myanmar border. So let's zip around this region on a scooter, see what we can find. The driving is easy, the road quality is amazing. Uh, there's not a lot of traffic, at least at this hour. It's like early in the morning. I wanted to get an early start. Scooter is easy to drive. This is just awesome, man. I love this. It's gonna be a great day. All right, guys, this is the turn off from the main road to uh, another road. So far, it looks paved and it goes all the way up to basically the Myanmar border. And there's supposed to be a village up there that's nice to visit. So let's hit the road. I think the only way to get to see these kind of rural areas and these beautiful country landscapes is to rent your own vehicle, your own scooter or whatever. All right, well, my driving has led me to this uh, small town. <laughs> I didn't even bother checking the name. And um, there's a bunch of temples here. Check it out. I don't know if, if this is really a temple or what it is, but that one certainly is, and it's quite beautiful. Some beautiful spots and i noticed that there's a lady over here selling some inexpensive looking local food so i'm gonna go check that out because i haven't had a breakfast yet today hi this is uh how much uh, it's 10 baht okay can i have two please thank you thank you thank you So about these sausages that I got, they're actually packed with rice. I don't know if you can see too well. And there's like these kind of clear noodles or whatever. It's like rice and noodles in there. I think there's probably also meat. <clears throat> so I'm on the way to Ban Rak Thai. That's the name of the village uh, that's basically directly on the Myanmar border. Myanmar border. For the past, I don't know, half hour, several kilometers anyway, um, it's been through pure, pure jungle. Like you can hear nothing but crick the crickets are so loud. All I can hear are crickets. Even with the wind blowing through my ears, blowing by my ears, all I hear is crickets, uh, jungle sounds. And we're actually at a, at a thousand meters elevation right here. I didn't expect that. It got kind of chillier as well. It's, it wasn't cool. It wasn't hot to begin with this morning. Uh, and then it got quite a bit chillier on that drive as we kind of hit a mountain pass or whatever. Ban Rak Thai. I had to stop for a quick shot of these uh, big fancy tents set up. They call it glamping, glamour camping. They've got these huge kind of dome-like tents set up as an accommodation here. It looks very nice, but uh, it's quite fancy and I'm sure it's expensive. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention before, it smells so strong like pine. Um, the road is covered in pine uh, needles. I don't know how well you can see that there. And the, the trees are pine trees. They're like, maybe not the majority, but a huge percentage of the trees here are pine. I, it really feels like I'd, I uh, entered a totally different ecosystem, a whole different climate. How beautiful is this, man? These terraced uh, growing fields, basically. They've got, I think this is rice. There, there's all kinds of different things uh, growing here. Hey guys, welcome to Ban Rak Thai. I'm basically at the entrance of town here. And, uh, I passed by this field and I had to stop. They got a football pitch set up, a couple of nets, and this uh, big sandy parking area. So this village, I was told, is the Chinese village. And uh, as you can see so far, it's got super Chinese vibes. Got those, uh, I don't even know what you call those things, but they got them everywhere hanging. Oh, nice little lake too, man. Beautiful. Look at how narrow this road is. I don't know how two regular sized vehicles could possibly pass each other on this road. It's incredibly narrow. Hi. This is the border. This is the border. Border cross. Myanmar. Ah, cool. But closed. Oh, yes. Close. <laughs> okay. Cool. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. So 
So this is the end of the road. This behind me is the uh, Thai Myanmar border. That's literally Myanmar right there. But uh, as you may know right now, there's, um, I don't know if it's a civil war, but uh, Myanmar is not safe. It's not on the backpacker trail. You can't go, it's, the border's closed. So this is it guys. This is the Chinese village of Ban Rak Thai. <clears throat> Here in the far north of Thailand, just uh, as you saw, like a couple, couple kilometers from the Myanmar border. So it's made up mostly of ethnic Chinese, people from Yunnan province, which is the closest, like southernmost province of China, uh, who were exiled uh, after the communist takeover. The population is about 800. Um, most of them apparently still speak uh, a heavily accented form of Mandarin. And uh, it, it was a popular spot on the, during the opium trade or whatever. It was, uh, it was on, along the trail. Hi. So, hey. Please come in. Oh, thank you. Sleep here today? Uh, no, I go to uh, Mei Hong San. Why? Uh, Why? I I already paid. All my all my things oh, are there. Okay. And this <laughs> way, three hundred fifty. Uh, it's nice. This way, three hundred fifty. Two fifty. Ah, that's good. Three fifty and four hundred. Oh, okay. 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 Sleep at night. No, I can't. I already paid. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I need to bring the from, motorbike but back. But the wrong, uh, it uh, <laughs> sounds yeah. nice, but no, I, I, I need to return the scooter uh, and uh, I have a bus ticket for tomorrow. Okay. Um, is there petrol, gas? No, gasoline this way. They're right there. It's more, uh, uh, it's more in Coca Cola, yeah. Ah, it's in Coca Cola. Yeah. Okay, see. Where are you from, brother? From Canada. Canada. Yes. Oh, okay. Happy, yes. happy. Yeah, this Hello. is a beautiful Hello. town. Yeah, oh. Hello. Come back, me. This okay. You. okay. We see, we see. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. I have some stuff, Nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the info. Me too, bye, me bye. Too. bye bye. Yeah, happy, happy Thank you. <laughs> Hi. This is uh, petrol for a scooter? Yes. Regular? Guess a hall. 95. Okay. How, is this two liter? Uh, how many mm. liter? Two liter, I think? 1.5. 1. 1.5 1. liter. Oh, okay. I see 1.5. Okay. Thank you. Um, do you have um, just uh, rice noodles, uh, like soup with rice noodles, or, or only only what's here? Yes. Okay, maybe can I have Yunnan rice noodles, please? This one, one like this. Okay. All right, guys, this is what I got. <clears throat> it looks like spaghetti in a bowl. It's kind of soup, hard-boiled egg, um, parsley, and it comes with some broth on the side, as most of the meals here do. Looks like is that ground beef or something? Or is that what is this? Let's give it a try. Yeah, some kind of ground beef in there. Mmm, very good. This is it, guys. These are the kinds of places you can find when you've got your own transportation. Um, there's literally not a single person in sight in any direction. There's a small shack or a couple of small shacks down there and plenty of food growing. Uh, crops and everything, but not one person in sight in any direction and the landscapes are breathtaking out of this world really spectacular um, I'm on my way to um, Kind of a lake right now. Someone recommended it. So let's go check it out. See if I can get in there see what I can see Can you guys hear those sounds of nature those uh, are those cicadas cicadas crickets all the nature sounds man it's all i hear it's so loud we just suddenly we're in pretty thick jungle here it's just beautiful it's jungle and pine forest at the same time i've never seen this i don't think pure like thick thick jungle but also pine it's a forest of pines and here we are uh, entering a project development center. Okay, I don't know what that's about. Well, already this has been worth it. Look at how beautiful this is. It's obviously a human-made reservoir. Um, the lake sprawls out in that direction as well as this direction and then here you've got your kind of wall thing. It looks like a dam. I've seen these in many parts of the world and here this low area, it's closed off there so the water doesn't escape. <laughs> well, I'm 
back near the uh, place where I turned off the main highway. Here are those beautiful fields I saw early this morning. So all day up until just recently, it was pretty cool out, like uh, almost chilly at times. I was actually a little bit chilly because I was ripping around uh, on the scooter. Now it's a sauna. It's an absolute sauna. All right, I'm back to the main highway. There you got your sign, Pai to the left, Mei Hong Song to the right. I'm gonna go check out this other Chinese village, but first I need some fuel. So first stop is gonna be a gas station. I go opener and aha. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Anybody wondering what it's costing me in fuel? Uh, I just, the guy put in almost two liters of fuel, 37. So it's a little bit more than a US dollar per liter and uh, it cost me 70 uh, baht, which is about two US dollars to fill the tank. And I went 122 or so kilometers. So, <clears throat> wow, that's like 60 kilometers per liter, actually more than 60 kilometers per liter. That's unbelievable. I'm surprised at how little that cost. All right, guys, so this is that Chinese village of, uh, uh, let's see, what the, what's the name here? <laughs> I forget the name, doesn't matter. Um, so there's not really a ton to do. I, I just went to the center, I bought a drink at like the one big main shop on the main drag. Um, there's an entrance over here. Let's drive in here. Let's go see what's up. I feel like I'm kind of just driving through a really tiny village, rural village. Not sure there's any reason for me to be in here. <laughs> I, I almost feel awkward driving in past those people with my camera. But hey, it's, uh, it is what it is, you know. Let's drive to the end of this road, see what's going on, and then head back. There is a temple on the other side of the highway there, so we'll check that out after as well. It's actually quite beautiful. There's a lot of traditional Chinese-style um, stuff here, like those. And it's just a peaceful, quiet village. It's quite beautiful. That is where I want to go. Welcome to practice meditation. Oh yeah, I had heard about that. The person who told me about this Chinese village and this temple over here, they mentioned that this is like a meditation area where you can learn to practice meditation basically. They do like, I don't know, hi. Meditation training, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what it is. What a beautiful area. Oh my goodness. I see those huts all around. Those must be accommodations. They look fancy and expensive. But man, the, the place is beautiful. Sprinklers everywhere, gardeners everywhere, property maintenance people. Yeah, so this is it guys. This is like a meditation retreat of some kind. The signs everywhere. No one has approached me so far. I'm allowed to just, I've been allowed to just walk in here. Check it out. It looks absolutely beautiful. Let's go see this temple. There are some really big fish in this pond here. Some surprisingly big ones. Look at that! Catfish! Whoa! Look at that. Yep. <clears throat> this is the kind of property that I would want to be on if I was learning how to meditate properly. Look at this mountainside right here. I mean, that thing is huge! It's basically right here on the property. They got sprinklers everywhere. It's all so well maintained. What is this design here? Some kind of maze made with, what is this? So this, I believe, is a chapel. It says right here, Dhamma Hall Chapel, Wat Patam Wa, Forest Temple. Beautiful. Well, that was a really beautiful monastery slash temple um, slash meditation retreat. Uh, I'm glad I made that little detour. Um, I, I gotta start heading back now. It's uh, already getting into the late afternoon and my scooter here is due back uh, before the end of the, the guy's working day. It's basically just gonna be a 40 kilometer power drive uh, along that highway and I'll check in with you guys uh, once I'm back in town there. <coughs> well, I'm back in town, back in Meihong Sun. I returned the scooter uh, it was an overall extremely successful day. I really enjoyed that. It was uh, the best decision I've made. Thanks for watching me rip around on that scooter. Appreciate, appreciate you guys following me. I'll see you guys soon in the next video.